Hello YouTube viewers, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, that what keeps me going. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of error 500. It's a server error with PHP. And this error basically is terrible. That's one of the worst errors you should get. So there are errors like 404, as page not found, 500, um, is server error. 200 is not an error, but 200 is a status, and that everything is okay. So in in this video, I'm using WordPress and the eMarket theme. I got this theme for free, and then I realized that I had this error while importing demo data, and it's only when importing demo data. So what I decided to do, I instead downloaded um, a paid version. So I bought it, and I downloaded it, and it still did the same thing. So I'm running on PHP version 8. The, with the new exam and after reading the documentation I extrapolated that the issue was basically um, using the wrong PHP version so boom that concludes everything for the video but I'm going to show you exactly how I solve this the next video I'll be showing you how to get your Elementor Pro license um, for 2021 so in the next video just stay tuned for this I'll be showing you how to get this done on your own for free all right so we're going to go ahead with this we're going to go show you the error you're going to go to appearances and import demo data okay so here we are and using the one click demo import plugin and we're going to import our first um demo data here our first theme and we're going to import everything so within 20 seconds i usually get this error 500 it might be less but you will witness it on your own so here it is that's an error that everybody gets and it's very very annoying so first of all you're going to be doing we're going to go to our browser we're going to look for xamp so right now we're going to be typing in xamp and when it loads up you're going to click on the first link you should also get xamp probably you install it on your own the first time and as you can see the latest version of XAMPP is compiled with PHP version 8 and we're going to go to previous versions to download and we're going to be downloading 7.3.25 I don't want to download the one closest to the newest version I just felt like it probably waste my time so I just download 7.3.25 it's still PHP it's still does what I wanted to do so let us go ahead with that. So I've already downloaded it while we had an error. Um, right now you'll see um, it's installing. This video is not about installing PHP as a normal process. But here I'm downloading PHP version 7.3.25 and I mean it's in being installed. So let us wait a while until it finishes installs. So as you can see right now, fast forwarded. And you can see that it's asking for permission. I'm going to allow it for both public and private and when it's done right now you just unpacking some files and going to install okay fast forward it's finished now i can close this um tab here what you see in there right now is the wordpress i've installed when i had xamp with php 8.0 but since i now have php 7.3.25 it's different now so what I actually did, I uninstalled both PHPs or both exams in that case. The one I just installed and the one I had previously. So I installed both of them instead of restarting my computer because I didn't want to restart it. That's the easiest and the best thing to do to avoid having two exams. But then again, you can also have two. It does not have any problems. Just ensure that you using the exact control panel for the exam version you used to use so here you can see um, I'm going to go to my appearance and I'm going to import demo data but before that uh, let me show you something you can do go to a new tab and open up a local host uh, when it loads you're going to search for your PHP version so you're going to go to um, your dashboard of localhost. Let's wait for it to load. Then you're going to click on PHP info. 
and here you can see php version 7.3.25 but you can also search for it by doing ctrl f and entering the word version so here you can also see it um for a patch 2 you have this highlighted php 7.3.25 so you can close that on right now we'll close it and i'm going to import the same demo data again now it's going to take a while five to ten minutes um the first time i installed it i tried installing it or importing it in that case it took me like almost an hour and there's a big issue so just to show that it's installed the film is installed i'm going to load the site for you so while it loads i'm just going to show you it's still importing it took me almost an hour and guess what happened i got the same error again 500 and i'm going to show you how to find out any errors um close to the end of this video i'll show you how to find any errors while importing your demo data using this plugin so while it's loading you see right now i have the e-market theme already installed you can just close it it's it's loaded everything's okay okay here it is fast forwarded and everything has been imported and that's great um no more 500 error what i'm going to show you right now we're going to go to our uh, folder we're going to go to our exam installation folder we're going to go to htdocs and we're going to go to our project folder we're going to go to um wp content you're going to go to update click our year which is 2021 uh, 01 folder and we have two log files there now the reason why we have two is because i remember telling you that i got an error 500 just a moment ago after we installing php so this one here i opened up is the version with um or the log file with the installation completed and this one was the one i had before and the issue there was that you can see i have new ajax calls all the time and if you look above you will see that i have a 3000 second max execution time so it took me 5000 seconds before you can really limit relay me this error and that's the issue there 3000 seconds that's why it probably felt like an hour so i removed it and i put it at um 320 so in that case i wouldn't have to wait all that time for me to get this error while it loading and therefore if i have any errors it'll just bring up for me one time because this execution time was not it was actually too much so here you can see um the required version was actually php 5.6 and php 7 was preferred but i instead updated it to php 8 i downloaded php 8 um, via exam and that was the issue now to downgrade php it's going to be a hard, a hard thing so that's the best option so thank you for watching please like and subscribe thank you very much for watching okay and subscribe to the channel that's what keeps me going thank you